Let's go to page 150, number 23. You have y equal to negative 1 plus 1 third cosine of 2 pi x. And you want to go from negative 2 to 2. So in this case, the a equal to 1 over 3, b equal to 2 pi, and c equal to 0. And from here, k equal to negative 1, p equal to 2 pi over b, so p equal to 1, so q equal to 1 over 4, I right? just divide by 4. c equal to 0, so s equal to 0. s equal to negative c over b. So now, once you have this information, now you're ready to do graphing. So let's go and do graph. Okay, so for so this is a cosine graph. So cosine graph starts from the, the top over here. And and this would be you, you, the s would be your starting value. So this would be zero and this would be one over four, two over four, and so forth. So that's no horizontal shift, but there's a vertical shift. So now we we have to do the, the vertical shift. But we, we found the axis, so we couldn't draw that first. Now, when you go up and down, the, the k, k is the starting value for your, your starting point. So over here, k equal to negative 1, so this is your negative 1. And a is 1 third, so when you go up 1 third, okay, this would be negative 2 over 3. And by going um, by the same amount, you can use a ruler and measure it. So this would be negative 1 over 3, and here would be the 0. So your axis would be right over here. Now once you have all this information, you need to transfer all your points. So it's the, you have to none of your points. So this would be point over here, over here. And you have to go all the way to this side too. At this point, it's gonna. So you need to get your amplitude. So here's your negative one. And so when you go down one third, you should become negative four over three. When you go up, you plus one third, so it'd be negative two over three. Okay. So you don't need this value over here. And now when you label, make sure you have all these points. So you have the one over four, two over four, three over four, four over four, five over four, six over four, 7 over 4 and the 8 over 4 so that's what you need. so you don't need the last one when you go backward you got negative 1 over 4 negative 2 over 4 negative 3 over 4 negative 4 over 4 negative 5 over 4 negative 6 over 4 negative 7 over 4 so you need to have one more right over here so negative 8 over 4 and double check, make sure you have everything. And so that's it for. Okay, so this is it for number 23. Okay, let's do number 24. Okay, 24, you have y equal to negative 1 half plus 1 half sine of 2 pi x. So a equal to one half, 
b equal to 2 pi, c equal to 0, and k equal to negative 1 over 2, p equal to 2 pi over b, so p equal to 1, so q equal to 1 over 4, and c equal to 0, so s equal to 0, because negative c over b. Okay, so let's go and graph number 24. Number 24, it's a sine graph. So sine graph starts over here. Okay. And there's no, there's no horizontal shift. So that's it. So that's your axis. Now let's do the vertical. So again, starting, your starting point, uh, we have the value of the K. Oh, we forgot to do K. So from here, your K, uh, this one's supposed to be K. K equal to negative one half. Okay, so be careful with the numbers. Okay, so K equal to negative one half. So this would be negative one over two. And the amplitude is half, so start from here, you go up half, so you end up with a zero. So that's a zero, and you go down. This will be negative two over two. Okay, so from here, we can find out that axis is gonna be right over here, touching the, vert the vertex of each cycle. Okay, so now we've got to find the range. It's, it's going from negative 2 to 2. Okay, from negative 2 to 2. So, 1, 2, 3. And when you do this, right, make sure you line up these points. 3, 4. So, so this would be... So the Q is 1 over 4. So it would be 1 over 4. 2 over 4. 3 over 4, 4 over 4, 5 over 4, 6 over 4, 7 over 4, 8 over 4. I'm, uh, okay, uh, that's all we need. So you, and here's your 0. And over here, you go backward. So negative 1 over 4, negative 2 over 4, negative 3 over 4, negative 4 over 4, negative 5 over 4, negative 6 over 4, negative 7 over 4, negative 8 over 4. Okay, and you have to make sure you have that. Okay, so you can erase some of the things that you don't need. Okay, if you want to put this over here, that's fine. That's negative 1 half. Okay, so this is number 24. Okay, let's go to number 25. Number 25, you have y equal to 2 minus 1 fourth sine of x over 2. And you want to go from negative 4 pi to 4 pi. Okay, so a equal to 1 over 4, b equal to 1 half c equal to 0, and now here k equal to 2, p equal to, uh, p equal to 2 pi over b, and if you multiply by 2, multiply by 2, so p equal to 4 pi, so q is 1 fourth of that, so it be pi, and c equal to 0, so s equal to 0. Okay, so that's going to number 25. Okay. So this is the negative sine graph. So normally the sine starts going uphill, but because it's negative sine, so it didn't get flipped upside down. So instead of going up, you need to go down. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna start um, over here. Let me see, okay. So this would be your axis. Okay. And there is no 
there is no uh, there's that so that's it and then you there's no s so now your k oh, that, that's a coin get always so your k you're going up and down so your k is two so that's two and your a is one fourth so that means when you go up you add so this will be two and one fourth when you go down you subtract so this would be one and three fourth okay. and notice that it's going to go down a lot so you're going to run out of space so I'm going to use the break line okay. so I'm going to use the break line because this is going to be way down here so I'm going to just use the break and I'm just going to put the put the zeros right over here okay. and I'm going to run up all my points So the Q is Q is pi. That means every division is pi. So it's zero pi, two pi, three pi, four pi. And you have to go to the negative four pi. So this is negative pi, negative two pi, negative three pi, negative four pi. And to get a bit. Uh, so this, if you want to use mixed up uh, improper fraction, that's fine. So it would be 9 over 4, and this would be 7 over 4. And so those are your, so that, that, that's your graph for number 25. Okay, let's go to number 26. Number 26. You have y equal to 3 minus 3 cosine of x over 2 and you want to go from negative 4 pi to 4 pi. So a equal to 3, b equal to 1 half, c equal to 0, k, so this is the a, this is the k, k equal to 3, and p equal to 2 pi over b, which is 1 half. To simplify complex fraction, multiply by common denominator. So p equal to 4 pi. And q is 1 fourth of that, so over 4 you get pi. And c equal to 0, so s equal to 0. So now we're ready to graph. This is going to be negative cosine. So normally cosine starts on the top. Now because of negative cosine, it's going to end up starting on the bottom. So you can end up starting right on the bottom over here. So that's, that's where your axis will be. Okay, and the k, now for k, k equal to three, that means this will be your three, and your a equal to three. So when you go up by three, this will give you 6 over here. When you go down by 3, when you go down, you subtract. So 3 plus 3 gives you 6. 3 minus 3 gives you 0 right over here. So that means your axis is going to be right over here, touching the bottom of the graph. Okay, and then I'm going to start to put in the, the values. Okay. So the Q is pi. Okay, so that means this will be pi, 2 pi. And here would be 3 pi, and this would be the 4 pi. And you want to go all the way up to 4 pi, right? So that's it. Now when you go backward, this would be the negative pi. This would be negative 2 pi. None it up, so this, this would be negative 3 pi. Over here would be negative 4 pi. And your critical point over here, the, these are critical information you need to have. So the 6, 3, and this 0. And so this will be graph for number 26. Okay. Next, let's go to number 27. Now, 
for number 27, they give you the graph and you need to find the equation. Number 27 over here and I want you to put in the form of y equal to a sine bx so y equal to a sine of bx so you need to find out your a and the b okay? so for this one what you need to do is by looking at these first you find out the a right so empty two see over here empty two is 5 so right away you can get y equal to 5 sine of bx. Now to find the b, you need to use the, the formula p equal to 2 pi over b. So period equal to 2 pi over b. Okay, And then from here, you can see that from here to here, the, that's one period. Period is pi. So we have the p equal to pi. Okay, So pi equal to 2 pi over b. So cross multiply. So b pi equal to 2 pi divided by pi, divided by pi, so b equal to 2. So once you find b equal to 2, you put over here, uh, and x, and that would be your answer for number 27. Okay. Okay, let's go to number 28. So number 28 over here. So you got y equal to... Okay, so again, if you look at the empty tube up and down, so okay, so you want to have this format. So y equal to a equal to 12, so it'd be 12 sine of bx. Again, to find b, you use the formula p equal to 2 pi over b. And by looking at this graph of here, one period is 6 pi, so p equal to 6 pi. Okay, and you go and cross multiply, so you got 6 pi b equal to 2 pi, and you divide by 6 pi, divide by 6 pi, so b equal to 1 over 3. So once you find that equal to 1 over 3, so you just have x over 3, and that would be your answer for number 28. Okay, let's go to number 29. So number 29, again, you want to use sine, uh, you want to find out y equal to in turn of sine function. So you got y equal to sine a sine of bx. So y equal to, by looking at this graph, you can see that it's 4, but notice graph got flipped upside down, so it's negative sine. Okay, so it's negative sine. And to find b, so again, this is upside down, so that's how I get a negative one. And the empty two is 4, so this four. Okay, now, again, p equal to 2 pi over b. So from here to here, you can see the period equal to 4. So 4 equal to 2 pi over b. Cross multiply, so you got 4b equal to 2 pi. Divide by 4, divide by 4. So b equal to pi over 2. So it would be pi over 2x. Okay. And that would be number 29. Okay, let's go to number 30. Number 30. Again, you want to find out the equation of y equal to a sine of bx. So y equal to, look at this graph. The a is 1, but graph is flipped over, so you know it's negative, so it'd be negative 1. Okay, so it's negative sine. And to find b, use a formula, p equal to 2 pi over b. So from here to here, that's one period, and it's equal to 2. So p equal to 2. Cross multiply, so you got 2b equal to 2 pi. Divide by 2, divide by 2, so b equal to pi. So once you find b equal to pi, you put over here. So you got pi x. And that's it for number 30. Okay. Let's go to number 31. Okay, number 31. They want you to do it in terms of cosine now. Okay. So 
So they want you to find out the equation in term of y equal to a cosine of bx. So you can from here you can see that the a equal to 8, so y equal to 8 cosine. Now to find out to, to figure out the b, you use a formula p equal to 2 pi over b. And so from here to here, the period is equal to a pi. So a pi equal to 2 pi over b. Cross multiply. Divide by a pi. So b equal to 1 over 4. So you put over here, so you got x over 4. If you put 1 fourth x, that's fine too. Okay, so number 31. Okay, now let's go to number 32. So you got y equal to a cosine of bx. So from here you can see that a equal to 2, so y equal to 2 cosine. Now to find out the b, use a formula. Okay, uh, period equal to 2 pi over b. And from here, the period equal to pi over 2. So from here, to, that's one period of pi over 2. So pi over 2 equal to 2 pi over b. Okay, cross multiply. So I got b pi cross multiply, or pi b cross multiply equal to 4 pi. Divide by pi, divide by pi. So b equal to 4. And so put over here, so you got 4x. And that's it for number 32. Okay. okay, now let's go and do number 33. Okay, so number 33. Again, you want to find the equation of y equal to a cosine of bx. So here's your number 33. So from here you can see that the graph is upside down and a equal to 1. So you're going to get y equal to negative cosine. Again, it's, it's upside down. Okay, and the period equal to 2 pi over b. So from here, by looking at this, you can see period is equal to 6. So you got 6 equal to 2 pi over b. Cross multiply, you got 6b equal to 2 pi. Divide by 6, divide by 6. So b equal to pi over 3. And so you're going to get pi x over 3. So that's number 33. Okay, let's go to number 34. Okay, so 34 is right over here. y equal to a cosine of bx. So looking at this graph, okay, the a equal to 3, but the graph is flipped upside down, so it's negative. To find b, you can use the period equal to 2 pi over b. So looking at this graph, okay, period is 1. Right, from here to here, see the 1. So 1 equal to 2 pi over b. Cross multiply, so b equal to 2 pi. So it be 2 pi x. And that would be the answer for number 34.